We are talking gold today. Now, gold investors, we were feeling the pinch back in March. It should have been going up. Inflation was and is everywhere you look, except in government statistics. There was COVID-19, money printing, a clear rotation from growth into real assets, and yet gold kept trending lower. Is that likely to continue, or have we already seen the bottom for the year? Now, I did talk about this in March, that Bitcoin was stealing gold's thunder, that bond yields were rising, that the US dollar was rising, that the world no longer valued physical assets as much as it does digital. But especially, we noted the role that rising yields were playing. Gold pays no interest. You don't get a yield. If bond yields are rising, money that would otherwise have gone into gold, in the event that yields were flat or falling, goes into bonds instead. And gold suddenly has an opportunity cost to it, as well as a storage cost. Thus, rising bond yields are bad for gold. For some reason, the effect of bond yields on gold is most visible with the 10-year bond. I'm not sure why, but one theory is that the average time it takes to take a mine from discovery to production is around 10 years. So gold and 10-year bond yields tend to correlate. But we also noted that gold was oversold, that it was sitting on an important technical level, that we were headed into a positive time of year for gold. April's usually a good month. And what's more, we noted that business was getting back to normal. Rising yields indicate that people expect economic strength. A strong economy gives rise to inflation. Gold is the de facto hedge against inflation. In the long term, then, rising yields are good for gold. So the bottom line roadmap map was that we expected a rally in April, a turn in May, a June high, a June low, I should say, and then a high later in the year. We got the April rally. Gold went from 1680 to about 1845 a couple of days ago. It now sits around $10 lower. Are we now getting the May turn? It's possible, but the landscape has changed. There are two big changes in the underlying drivers. Firstly, bond yields have turned down. Inflation expectations, meanwhile, have risen again. And as my friend Charlie Morris notes in the Fleet Street letter this week, if the reduction in the bond yield continues, then markets will start to favour more defensive assets. And this would be a major shift in the narrative that's built up over the past year from value back to gold. And Charlie's actually recommended that his readers, who are already long gold, buy more. And he thinks we're headed back into a risk-off environment and you want to be in safe assets. Perhaps the biggest driver of the lot, though, is the US dollar itself. The mini bull market it enjoyed in the first three months of this year that saw the US dollar index go from about 89 to 93 is well and truly over. It's now back at 90, where it started. So if we pull back and look at the big, bigger picture, when you do this, you see that the first three months of 2021 just looked like a counter-trend rally in a larger US dollar bear market that began in March last year with the US dollar at 104. And if this bear market breaks below 88, it will go to the low 80s and gold will go a lot higher. By a lot higher, I mean north of $2,000 an ounce and to new highs. As so often seems to be the case, the fate of gold will be the fate of the US dollar. So the questions we have to ask ourselves are whither 10-year bond yields and whither the US dollar. Whither, by the way, is the oldie English meaning to what place. And it's a very useful word and I'm surprised we don't use it more often. So I'm doing my bit to revive it here on this YouTube channel. I'm less sure about bond yields, but I do know that the powers that be will not let them rise too high. My hunch is that the all-important US dollar goes lower, which will be good for gold. But there's a lot of support in that 88 to 89 region to get through first. Over the last 10 years, late May has consistently been the best time of year to buy gold. But over the last 40 years, July has been the time. So gold does tend to be weak in the early summer. We've had a nice run. I rather suspect that a period of range trading while the US dollar plays with that 88 to 89 area comes next. The big run will be when that support is broken. So if you're not long gold and you're thinking of taking a position, I'd recommend looking for dips um, over the next couple of months. Thanks very much for watching. I'll be back with another video very soon.